Play Collection here at the Burbank Card Show in Ontario, California, not Ontario, Canada. Looks and writes the same, but it's absolutely nowhere near one another. If you're in the area, come on, stop by Thursday through Sunday, Super Bowl weekend. It's going to be a blast. Sweet. Papino Man, you got anything to say? I love it. <laughs> Suck it easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we doing here? Uh, 170 is fine. 170? Yeah, if you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. Let's do yeah. it, man. Yeah. Cool. Getting myself a man right here. Bro, are you on IG? Uh, actually, I am. Actually. I am. Right. It's uh, G's Mikey uh, you, uh, underscore YouTube. Here's your fitty. What? And they're real this time. They're real this time. Here you go. Well, they look realer. Realer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got to put my money away. All right, so let me take a picture and I'll, uh, I'll tag you on it later. He bought the 62. You know what's funny, bro? What's up? I, I know you've heard this story a million times, but I used to buy this car in like a four for like 50, mm, 60, nothing. 30, oh, because yeah. nobody liked this car. And then they realized like, it's that one of his iconic like looks, yeah. you know? Like, and all of a sudden this card became a thing, not just because of the market, but specifically right. that card and that card just blew up, dude. Damn. Smile. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, I'm VIP. Look at this. <laughs> what? Whoa. VIP, guys. You go to the women or hey. the men's restroom with that. Men's restroom. <laughs> 93. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. See that man over here? Nope, I'm too busy over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my cooking up. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you.
the three here is super nice. He's a cat. You don't have cat. Are you looking at the part or the slab? Yeah, yeah, man. You don't take uh, checks? <laughs> Depends on from. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. Show it off, man. There we go. rookie has ganador. Walk, <laughs> welcome to the club, man. Welcome to the Mano Rookie Club. Man, happy to join you guys. I have the shirt. With the, with the humble one. <laughs> and add it to my Steve job. All right, guys, you guys ready for this? Bam! Some banging deals. And let me just tell you guys something. I did not pay sticker price on any of these. Any of these. And I'll explain that in a minute. But first, I want to let you guys know that I did pick up a Blaster Box 2021 Tops Chrome. This was a whopping $20 flat. No taxes, no nothing, no baggage. And uh, since I still have the uh, the jitters of being at the card show, I decided to buy a, a modern product, a Blaster Box, you know, just for the nostalgia. You know, you're at the card show and you're just kind of reminiscing of being there as a child because you always wanted to do one of those as a child. In fact, the Burbank show was actually my first one. The one in Long Beach doesn't necessarily count because there's only 10 vendors. This place had about 400. So I could only imagine what Nationals is like because I had such a blast yesterday meeting up with everybody. And uh, I can't wait to open up this bad boy, which I'll share with you guys what I pull out of here on my next video because we went to the Burbank card shop and uh, I bought myself a pretty banging rookie card. So I'll share up uh, whatever I pull out of here. If there's anything interesting, you know, I'll show it with whatever I got with that Burbank pickups that I did. Now, talking about this bad boy, okay? Meeting up with Mike, baseball collector. He whispered in my ear, sweet nothing, okay? He said, Michael, you are sexy. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He told me never pay for sticker price. So at the Burbank show, that's the only thing that was on my mind. Never pay sticker price. Okay. So let me show you guys some banging cards that I got, dude. Because I feel like I stole these. Okay, not necessarily, but I feel like I got good deals where I came home with a smile. Let's just say that. Okay. So the first purchase you guys actually saw me do on this earlier in this video was this uh, Mickey Mantle. Okay. I got this from Alley Collection, uh, Levon. And look how stunning this is for a poor Mickey Mantle. I'm thinking about cutting this out and putting this in my binder, you know, part of my, uh, my set building. Or I may just leave it, I don't know. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna leave it. But um, this is a really nice poor. We were saying PR stands for Puerto Rican. That's a Puerto Rico number. <laughs> Man, I had such a blast. Wow, Burbank was fun. Now, I didn't pay $200 for this. Um, I got this for $170. So I feel like I got a really good deal on this because on eBay, uh, they, they're selling $250, $300-ish, even for a poor. Um, I feel like I got a good deal. It, you know, it's already graded. So that's the first one. I'll set them right here. Okay, this one right here. This is more of a nostalgia type of deal. Um, these were four for a dollar. Uh, nothing too crazy. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on some modern stuff This is actually the only modern stuff that I bought other than that blaster box But um, I pulled out some pretty cool cards out of here Nice little Bryce Harper right there Jordan Alvarez Miguel Cabrera Refractor Some Clayton Kershaw's that I needed for my Kershaw PC So Four for a dollar. I pulled out five and yeah, they gave it to me for 20 cents a pop. So you know, that's pretty cool. All right, up next. Uh, oh, this one. This one was really crazy, dude. Okay, so this seller had some bunch of commons. Bunch of commons. And uh, he had some star players and, you know, Hall of Famers in there as well. Okay. I paid literally a dollar a piece for all these. Um, I was, if I would have known that, I, I, I could have 
pulled out a lot more cards, man, because I was kind of going based upon, you know, what these stickers were saying in the back, you know, so 67 Joe Torre, the Lewis Tiat, this one was 50 cents, uh, apparently, um, Bob Gibson, 68, you got a uh, Bill Mazurowski, 67, look at this, a Willie Mays, dude, this is a $10 card all freaking day, and I got all these for a dollar. I found this one in there. That's crazy. This one also, the Mazurowski. If you guys aren't familiar with Seth Belly in 1961, this is a very hard car to get. Not necessarily that it's hard. You can see them all day. But they're usually $5, $10, $20. This card. And I set build the 61 um, about 90%. And uh, every time I would attempt the 61, this is always one of the last cards I got or one of the hardest cards I've ever got. Got it for a buck, dude. Not bad. Ron Santos, Orlando Cepeda, a 1952 Tops card for a dollar, really? A dollar? <laughs> this is a four or five dollar card all day. And uh, Phil um, Phil Decro, 67. So, got these for a dollar a pop. Can't beat that. Up next. Oh, wait. This one, I think this one was also involved. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Never mind. This is from a different dealer. This is also a dollar a pop. Steve Garvey, a Ken Boyer, wow. And this, I, I already had this, but I kind of just threw it in there as a filler because, uh, you know, I don't want to just spend two, three dollars. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just add that one. But check this out, a Whitey Ford. This was in the dollar box. This is a five dollar card all day, you know, five, ten dollars, uh, depending on condition, centering, X, Y, and Z. Uh, that was a good deal, a dollar for that. So I just spent five bucks, you know, I just threw that one in. This is the lower grade Tigers uh, team, but I needed it in my binder, so I bought it anyways. Okay, up next. Oh, this one was crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, before I share this one, I'm gonna share this one because these are from the same sellers, but I didn't realize that they're from the same seller until after I bought this one. So I got this New York Yankees team card, and this is the first time I've ever owned this card. This has always been a pricey card for the 1956 Tufts set. Um, I paid 20 bucks for it. I offered them 20. They accepted it. At first, they said no. And I was like, oh, all right. Okay, well, I guess uh, I, I need it anyways. You know, 25 isn't that bad. And then, like, they looked at it really close, you know. And, you know, he wanted to see Mickey Mantle for the last time before he sold it to me. And then he's like, all right, I'll do 20 bucks. And he gave it to me for 20 bucks. And that's a really good deal for that. Now... I later found out that that same seller had a whole bunch of 35 or 32 count boxes, tables and tables and tables, let's just say, and each card were 25 cents, and that's where this bad boy comes in. So after realizing that uh, he had more cards, <coughs> I came across these, and I just sat there for a little bit, you know, and kind of pulled out some uh, really cool cards for 20 cents a pop. That's what they ended up coming out to because I got more than $5 worth. Dave Parker, you got uh, the Walter Johnson. I bought a few of them. Now I bought these doubles for a reason. I to my player PC and trying to beat that up. A Louis Tiant, Jim Hunter, Tony Perez, Jim Cott, Louis Tiant again, Ted Simmons, Sparky Anderson. We got this Lou Gehrig, this Gary Carter rookie cup. Car, yes, Gramsci. Car, yes, yeah, I just heard that song the other day. I was listening to it. <laughs> got a bite on record, man. That's a fun song. Got two of them. Wow. Raleigh Fingers. And check this out, dude. Well, not to George Foster, but check this out. A Hank Aaron, really, for 20 cents? Wow. You can't beat that, dude. Wow. You, <laughs> for reals. I feel like I stole these cards. <laughs> for reals. Man, if... Uh, I don't know, man. This this, this was all so so much fun. Now, towards the end of the night, I will just kind of randomly, you know, um, in a vendor who had a bunch of modern autographs. And this is what I pulled out of there. A Lou Brock 1970s Tops autograph. Okay, the same seller had this one, dude. A 1955 Bowman Phil Rizzuto autograph. Are you freaking kidding me for $20? Now, I offered them 40 for both and they accepted it. So, I got $5 off, which means I got this one for 20 and this one for 20. 
But dude, really? I feel like this is the highlight of the night. A Phil Rizzuto autograph for $20. That is a no-brainer. How could people pass it up? Look, yes, there's a crease here. That's just, it's vintage, dude. It's vintage. I totally understand. It's vintage. I, you know. Phil Rizzuto autographed this card. Wow. For $20 freaking dollars, dude. I feel like I stole these. Here's another one with Luke Rock. There's a crease right there uh, down the middle. But still, $20 for this? I haven't shared this with you guys yet, but I actually bought a Lou Brock autograph and I didn't pay no $20 for it. But that's for another video, of course. But dude, really? So I feel like I did really good. I feel like, whoop. I feel like I did really good at this card show. Um, I bought a Mano. Okay, I bought the Yankees team card. Got a whole bunch of stuff for a buck. Really? That Willie Mays for a dollar? Oh, why are you Willie? Really for a dollar? Wow, it's crazy. Got a whole uh, bunch of other stuff. 20, 20 freaking cents, dude. Hank Aaron, wow. So, I can't wait till they do this again, until we all do it again, until we all meet up. And uh, man, this is pushing me to go on nationals even more, only because if I can find such great deals here, I can only imagine for something that has over a thousand tables of people trying to sell stuff. Wow. So, that's my Friday night. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Toodles! 20 freaking dollars for Phil Rizzuto autograph. What the hell?